Uh, we're back. Uh, yeah, mysteriously froze uh, just when we're talking about jamming. Hmm. Could that be a back end thing? Uh, yeah, we're used to all this. So, Luis, continue. And then Brian has some comments. Um, no, that I, I, after you, you leave the area, you move a block away, then you'll get signal again. So, I think it must be the truck or something. Because uh, it's 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 only where you're there, not none not nobody could use their 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 <laughs> cell phones or mobile devices. Yeah, and what we say about being jammed, uh, the truck is a different thing. Is you know this is really important. What we say is there's no shame in going down. It happens to the best of us. What is a shame is you don't know that you're down. So you need to be cognizant of your uh, diagnostics that's how you know and it's easier with a laptop and software than it is with a smartphone um, still the quality from a laptop and software or to even today are a lot more better quality than than uh, an Android and an app uh, plus there's a lot more things you could do with the live stream uh, with a laptop hence like what I'm mirroring now this Skype conversation versus uh as you know a cell phone uh, live stream where it's just a camera you can't mirror as we like to say now you just got to get creative uh you know the one thing that you all the live streamers should have is that speed test.net app we swear by that speed test i'm typing it on the live chat dot net download that app and then like a tricorder on Star Trek, just do, you know, before your live stream, check the area and check the speeds, the upload and download speeds. Now, remember, when you're live streaming in the field with an Android phone, I mean a cell phone, um, you're only utilizing the upload bandwidth. You're not using the download. And, and, you, and I think for smartphones, you need at least uh, really half a... Um, a megabit per second, uh, you know, about 500 um, would would suffice, and and you just go around and and if it and if it happens to be the you know you pick a spot that's the closest to the crowd, um, it's sad, you know. Uh, now, if you can get, I, I here's the theory I have down there that if you have national TV or TV <laughs> station with a satellite truck that's doing live images from there, then I don't think the cops would be jamming their signal. So the jammer would be off. So one end around uh, to that truck, the truck is a problem, um, uh, is try and get some TV station to do some live broadcasting from there. I think that that would work. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, one, one funny thing is that, um, I think two days ago, um, there was a uh, newspaper here that in the front page said that the DN DNI, which is the Department of National Intelligence, was spying on social networks for intelligence. So everybody was asking, really? So they're, 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 they're breaking in our social media things just to see who's protesting, who's not, who's saying what, who's saying this. There's there's no freedom of speech actually. There's no liberty whatsoever for these people now. And and uh, it's it's called it's it causes um, a little reaction from people and and the response for from a lot of them is that this is not new. This is going on for years now. That they're they 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 they're they're infiltrating 